Hi, and welcome to the Chesapeake City Show. This is Tim Qualls, and I'm here with the mayor, Dean. And I'm telling you, every time I come down here, it, it's just, it, it sun shines. I mean, what a great city. It is, especially when we have weather like this that brings everybody out. It's absolutely awesome. It's just a, another perfect day here. Yeah, and this is a Monday, and, and still the traffic. I, I stopped and had lunch at Bohemian Cafe here, and, I mean, the place was loaded up. The deck over at the Chesapeake is just filled up. Down at Bayard House is all, I mean, it's just a great place to come and visit. This is our season, Dave. I mean, this is our season. We, um, It's the great weather. It's the great product that we have here, and we have a lot to offer here in town. And the secret's out. More and more people are learning about us and the different things that we're doing as a town. And uh, it's exciting, everything that's happening right now. Yeah, and I, I'm very excited because we, we're sitting here and we're standing on a new, this pretty much all brand new right here. But this is what's coming to the entire Bohemia Avenue as we, we're standing here on this. You guys are getting ready to re give a whole new facelift. We are. We're looking to uh, take piece by piece the business district and the historic district. And we're looking to really you know, get rid of the electrical wires, the poles. We're looking to redo the roads, uh, the sidewalks we're looking to restore to the brick, uh, brick sidewalk look and really upgrade uh, the business area uh, and the historic area. Once we do this, then our, our secondary goal to that is that we're already out working on is to bring in additional shops, you know, look for some additional stores that want to come in here, set up shop, and we're looking to give them some incentives uh, to come in here and be a part of our town. Yeah, when you're talking about that, because I come down through here and I, I, I love strolling down the street, and when I walk down the street and everything, different houses have different historical markers on them. And, and to give you a good example, we're standing in one of the greatest looking buildings in town is this right here. But it wasn't built just yesterday, because if you come, I'm going to walk over here, Dean, just to show folks what I'm talking about, because if you come in, you know, this this came in into play as a National Bank in 1903. Yep, 1903. This was a bank for many, many years. And then, believe it or not, in 1986, this was Town Hall. Uh, this became Town Hall, and it was Town Hall uh, for a number of years. And then Town Hall moved across the street, and uh, some uh, just a great family's been in here and has opened up this shop here, and it's been another big plus to town. But this is just one of many historic things that uh, uh, really – we want to bring out when people visit us then we'll see all the different historic properties because there's multiple properties here all throughout town. Yeah, we're going to visit by your house during this show, too. And when we visit that, they claim to be the oldest building in town. So That could quite possibly <laughs> be true. And uh, uh, Mrs. DuPont had that for years, and um, a lot of credit for her for uh, revi revitalizing the town back in the 70s. And that was just one of her projects. This town is so rich in history. Uh, there's so much I even continuously learn all the time. So the amount of history in this town is amazing. So the combination of us with revitalizing the town right now, fixing the infrastructure, keeping the history of it, and also making sure we preserve the quality of life for our residents and also for the people that are visiting. That's our goal. I mean, that's it. And we're lucky enough to have all these historical things that we can put into the mix and we're not starting from scratch. Because you've come down here. I mean, the nice thing is you've got the water and everybody's going to love spending time because I was thinking, you know, you come down here because they got a little cottage you can rent down here. You've got di different bed and breakfasts around that you can stay in. You know, so you can stay right on the water. You can have dinner one place, go party another place, get up and have breakfast in another place. I mean, anything and everything that you're looking to do if you're looking for a great weekend where, and not having to fight the beach traffic, that's what I love most. <laughs> it is. And, I mean, listen, water sells itself, right? Our town is on the water, and we're lucky enough that our town is on both sides of the water. And those establishments have great things to offer, and it just brings them in. It doesn't matter if they're coming from Baltimore, coming from Wilmington, coming from Philadelphia. The product that we have here that we can serve up is tremendous. And like you said, that's from the restaurants to the bed and breakfasts to the shops, everything. Yeah, when you're talking about the shops, it's just antique shop after antique shop as you're strolling up down Bohemian 
Avenue here, and then you go the next block over, you got more of the same. So there's little shops throughout, and as you had said, if you're looking to open up a shop, I mean, great place to do it as they do the revitalization of the town. They're looking for more people to come in and, and open up shops and, and, and have something to offer for the folks coming in to visit. But let's talk about, because you, you got to be excited because, you know, you just got reelected mayor, and, you know, that's, that's a big plus in itself because you've brought so much to the city since you've been mayor. Uh, and when I say that is the trails that are coming in, the hiking trails, the walking trails, all that's got a big part of the city as well. Well, I think the reason I got reelected is because the, the, the residents share the vision that's here and they see what's coming. We had to fix our infrastructure first. Uh, before I took office many years ago, uh, four years ago, we had to bring in a whole new water system, which we have. Saved the town hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now we have the game plan done with the sewer system. So the infrastructure part is, is in there. Now people are going to start seeing the cosmetic things. Like you said, we have a trail that goes 17 miles from right here in Chesapeake City all the way up to Delaware City. Okay. That's huge. That's a cosmetic thing that's going to bring people in. You can bike, walk, run. You can start here and you can go up five miles and turn around or you can go the whole way and turn around. That's going to bring in a lot of events, biking events, running events, all kinds of events. So now people are going to start to see, now that the infrastructure is fixed, they're going to see the vision. They're going to see the rehabs uh, of the different streets. They're going to see the additional trail. We have a, another trail starting here in the fall that puts a boardwalk along the water goes up the next street up here underneath the bridge and actually goes all the way out to our schools. So our kids are going to be able to walk on these trails instead of walking on the roads and stuff. It's just the entire vision you're going to see over the next few years, you're going to be able to see the result of um, the $19 million in grants that we've gotten to help uh, rehab our town. Yeah, and when you're talking about that, because I I'm, I'm, I'm said to my wife, I said, you know, I can't think of a better place to live and, and watch kids grow up than some place like Chesapeake City right here on the water and then great school districts i mean it, you know you've got it you got it made here and I'm, but my problem is i can't find any houses for sale they nobody nobody's moving well when a house comes up it does it does move very quickly and that's starting to starting to happen even faster but it is important to balance the quality of life between the people that live here and the people that visit here and uh that's a that's a constant challenge every day but that's what's most important uh, at least it will be under my administration that the quality of life of the people that are here that help build this town uh, we need to make sure that balance is there and that's what we continue to strive for yeah because you're bringing in people and more and more people are going to come in and visit the Chesapeake City as we start to showing them and tell them the many things that they can do here but at the same time like you said being sure the ones that live here are getting a better things in life and you're doing that and, and congratulations I mean I know you got a lot more plans and we'll talk about that as we go forward but uh, just tell the folks come down and visit Chesapeake City absolutely it's the season come see us um, we're ready for you the shops are ready for you the restaurants are ready for you and uh, we're excited that uh, we'll be on the destination map